Hello, beloved of the Lord. This is Bev Potter. It is October 15th, 2018. Just wanted to do a quick little update video. Uh, I believe this is a confirmation of what I was saying uh, on the last video concerning uh, Yom Teruah. And I shared about moving from darkness, uh, so the new moon, to the full moon. Um, the full moon is at the beginning of Sukkot. But the 10 days between Yom Teruah and Yom Kippur are days for us to um, allow the Lord to purify us and prepare us for the day of judgment. All right, so I put that video out on the 9th. And last year, uh, there were a number of people speaking about three days of darkness and this being uh, basically the final preparation where the Lord would be preparing his people uh, for them to move into um, to be glorified. Uh, nobody really knew if it was a physical darkness or if it was just demonic or whatever. But I have to say, I feel like we've just been through three days of darkness. Beyond anything we have encountered before. In fact, the Lord told Rob that this attack was ten times worse than anything he has ever endured in his life. It's very interesting because the Lord had been bringing a verse to me for months now. Uh, it's from Deuteronomy 32.30, and it says, How could one have chased a thousand, and two have put ten thousand to flight, unless the rock had sold them, and the Lord had given them up? So that whole theme of one being able to put a thousand to flight, and two putting ten thousand to flight, he was speaking to me of the power of unity. And I understand now that this year he has been leading me and preparing me for what we were exposed to. Uh, the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th. It has abated, thank God. But I really feel like it, it it was necessary for the Lord to prepare us for, for that. He knew it was coming. We didn't. All right. All I can say about it is that we had to become one. And the Lord took us through together. Um, I feel it was also a confirmation of these previous videos that I did, uh, one on biblical authority, husbands and wives, one called Submit Like Gibby, where he was, he's was he been teaching me about submission and the wife's role in the marriage. Also, true unity and a paradox. I understood why he gave us uh, the... Uh, we were invited to enter into this deeper level of unity. And there was a prophetic act involved, but I understand, understand now that uh, it was to make us aware that this unity thing would not be something easy. Uh, basically, whatever is Rob's becomes mine, and whatever is mine becomes his. And we have to struggle through together and fight together. Not with each other. <laughs> Although that happens from time to time, but I'm learning. I learned a really good lesson that it is better to be wronged or to feel that you have been wronged than to fight. <laughs> so, yeah. That's come to a, a new level, so... That's good. Thank you, Lord. I also have this sense that 
I must become less and he must become more. Uh, kind of like John the Baptist and Jesus. Something is up with that. And so this is good because uh, when he moves into what he's called it to, it's, it's going to be great. Okay. Um, that prepare yourself video, that was for this. I had to use my Esther training that, uh, that I shared in that video, prepare yourself. And uh, that was important. Thank you, Lord, for that preparation. And also concerning the uh, horse dream on the kindness and severity video, uh, I believe that it's, it's just about done. We're just about there. We are still moving through the last vestiges, but I think the darkest time has passed. And um, the Lord is faithful, and he is finishing the good work that he began in us. So praise God. Um, so I feel like we're almost at the end of this phase of our journey, and, uh, and I think I've said it on a video before, but we have, we purchased an Odyssey in 2006, and we are still driving that precious vehicle, but she's coming to the end of her lifespan, and I've felt for a, a long time now that when our Odyssey is done, then our family's odyssey will also be over. So, yes, I really feel like we're, we're almost at the end of this phase of our journey. So, and I think it's going to be a good change. All right. Um, I just want to share a verse, Isaiah 63, 4, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. And I feel like since I saw that judgment in favor of the saints last year in October, it has been a year of redemption. I didn't understand it. Preparation for redemption. Um, yeah, the Lord working in a whole new way in our lives, which is great. It hasn't been easy, but it's a really good thing. Okay, um, I just want to read Deuteronomy 32, 36. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants when he sees that their power is gone and there is none remaining, bond or free. Their power is gone. And Daniel 12, 7 also speaks of the same type of thing when the power of the holy people is utterly shattered then these things will be accomplished. So, yeah, <laughs> our power's pretty shattered, pretty shattered. There may be a few more things to go yet, but I just wanted to give you a little update. God bless you. Um, I, do, I do feel that we are in a very profound and significant time, and and this is truly the year of the favor of the Lord. Praise God. All right. God bless you. Thank you for letting me share. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.